Ooh. Man, it's cold. I gotta go inside. It's just really cold outside. Ooh. Ah. This may be the biggest challenge of the whole project. <laughs> I keep saying that after each big challenge, but anyway, it's time, <clears throat> I've already cut this piece. It's time to transition between the lower half and the upper half. You folks seen that do that before? Well, anyway, it does it. Uh, there, the sheathing behind the clapboards is flush all the way down. And when we put this one on, Uh, let's see, how can I pick this up? Pick that up. Well, anyway, <laughs> there has to be some sort of a, a, a small starter piece like I'd used down on the bottom here. So I'm going to, make, going to make a small one there, attach that. There'll probably have to be just a slight, like a 16th or a 32nd leeway so that this will sit down and, and uh, fit well and look nice. So the first thing will be to make just a little piece here. So it, so it did rip. I was able to rip that out. I thought for sure that would just completely blow apart, but it didn't. So now I'll cut that little sliver to fit and that should act as a, as a spacer to bring that out. All right, I got to tell you, I'm not very confident about, uh, I don't have a very confident feeling about this one. It will fit right there. I guess, I guess I'll hot glue that. There goes nothing, as they say in the movies. <laughs> I don't know if they say that in the movies, actually. <laughs> I think they break a leg or something. The house wrap is allowing this board to move a little bit. Maybe that's good. That might allow it enough freedom so that it'll, when, when we put this one on, it will still seat down. Still, <clears throat> still a little tacky, kind of like me. Not really, I'm not. Well, okay, so this is free. You can see that's uh, been glued on there. It sits very well. So I guess we'll do it. I'll probably put a dab here and as well on the top of this one. See if I can do it quick enough before, they, before it hardens. Well, I guess I'm committed now. <laughs> Maybe I should be committed. I don't know. Hey, somebody sent a, a photo of a miniature that they built. I'm going, I don't think he'd mind. I'm going to put a picture on of it. That's awesome. He did a, an amazing job. It's uh, more meticulous than what I did. See. Feels like it's still a little loose over there. I mean, putting myself at the point of no return, I guess, by all this glue. Don't want any of that sticking over. <coughs> the moment of truth. <sighs> well, it certainly comes off. Nothing fell off, so that's good. Now if I can get it back in. Da-da! I like that. And it's a good tight fit in there. This one clapboard is going to be a slight bit steeper angle in order to uh, make that come out well. But I, I like that. Let me give you a little better angle. We'll get right up close to it. So you can see right across there. It looks fine. And Sorry about shaking. There's just a slight amount of movement there. It may even firm up when we put the next one up there. 
Woohoo! Typically when doing clapboards, I'll use the spacer block. I'll come over to the edge and put a mark. Both sides. And if we have material that's long enough in, in a regular build to go all the way, we'll just pull that, we know it's a 45. So we'll pull that measurement, cut the angles, and in theory, it'll fit perfectly. 17 and 11. We, we'll usually drop the 16th if it's not in the, the eighth mode, if it's not seven eighths, five eighths, three eighths. If we say nine or 11, Sometimes we do. <laughs> now I forgot my measurement. Thank you very much. Seven, 17 and 11. Sixteenths. Let's cut that. 17 and 11. Sixteenths. Perfect. I like it. All right. In setting this up here, I was noticing the window doesn't look right. It's probably a 16th or a 30 second difference on each side. One in um, three 30 seconds, one in one 30 second. So it's a sixteenth of an inch off here compared to here. So I'll pull that window out and straighten that up because when with it's such a small scale, <clears throat> a sixteenth of an inch really shows up. <laughs> so I will fix that. But I'm going to going to glue this on right now. Pull that out, turn it just a little bit, should be good. Okay, after a little bit of struggle, I got the window loose so it comes out. There is some movement allowable there. So I, I also I marked out where this window will be sitting down into. So I just have to notch this out. I'll probably just use a utility knife. I mean, a, a yeah, utility knife. Good, and that sits in there really well. <clears throat> I think what I want to do is glue this on first and then set the window and I know I've got it placed. You don't usually have that freedom when you're on the job site doing it that way. You better fit. <laughs> All right, I believe I've cut the one one for each side. Should be good to go. So Lauren and my wife Sandy are picking out the colors. Lauren's going to paint this if I ever get it done. Okay, we're going up over the window. So I've already cut the notch out. That's a good fit. So I'll glue it. All right, I've cut the rest of these all ahead. I had made, made marks so that they all have the same reveal. Now I just have to glue them on. Yeah. 
Here it is. Done. Well, okay, door is in. I've put the little filler piece to build it out. So this will be the first one. I had to put marks on here because this uh, doesn't go down low enough to mark that one. After we get this one on, it will be fine. Everything's looking nice and tight. The glue hair is kind of interesting. things first. It's lining up well coming around the corner. Final piece on this side. You notice I'm missing my little pinky. I cut that off with a wood splitter about uh, 30 years ago. That was an adventure. Big moment, we're going to put fascia on. Whoa, let's just do it here. I've already cut this to length. 
<clears throat> so I know it fits. Boy, that pretties it right up. And now I'll put this fascia piece up. Hopefully it fits right. That glue is hot. <laughs> There, very good. Now we've got to think about the roofing. My, uh, my design engineer came down just a minute ago, Lauren, and we, we're, talking, we're trying to figure out what kind of a roof. So I think we're going to make this look like shingles. And we'll just use these. She's the one that's going to paint it, so she was on board with it. So it'd be an idea like that and then uh, we can paint the gaps in the to the shingle paint paint the whole roof and then paint the gaps to give it a maybe a three tab look or uh, like a jet shingle something like that so I think that's the direction we're going to head the roof was the same top to bottom so I'm going to cut all of these one cut Boy, that's brave, huh? Okay. It's all good. There it is. I already glued on this initial one as a starter, just like we did with the clapboards. And we're we're beginning the roofing. Woohoo! I'm going to use the same spacer block to come up to to uh, put these on, and we'll walk right up through there. So I'm going to put a definition strip up here to cover up the end. It's a cover up. <laughs> I would say it's time to bring in the painters. So Lauren's going to paint the roof and make it look like shingles, paint the siding, the trim. I haven't made this door yet. It's coming along really, 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 really well. Look at that. This came, I'm very happy with this. It came out pretty, pretty good sits right down on there nice and tidy <laughs> so thanks for watching have a great day